Well, following a gold medal performance at the first round of FIVB World Qualifiers in Curaçao, our men's national volleyball team returning home yesterday, and they were upbeat about their performance. We had a goal set to win it and advance to the second round. We did that. Um, we didn't drop a game. We won four of our games, which is a, you know, it's a statement that we made that, yeah, we're the favorites, and it's the reason why we're the favorites. Um, we're still fighting off that energy that we had um, winning the CVC championship and we just carried that on and helped us become victorious. Stayed together as a team. We ran out there and we battled for each point. It wasn't, it's nothing, it wasn't given to us. We, we ran out and we took it. Even the fans that were watching it, like, wow, these guys are really good. They, we never showed that we were down. Even when things didn't go our way, even when the referees was calling against us, we never showed, we were like, you know what, this is ours to win. When everybody played us, they stepped up their game. They tried to play it to our levels, and it was important for us not to play down to theirs, but to stay consistent and be victorious. There's no division in our team. Our team is, is just one big group that likes to hang together, have fun, play volleyball, and most of all, win. It shows that um, we are ch champions and that we are not, it's just not a fluke that we won CBC and that you know, we can go out there and play. Uh, we've been taking our uh, beating for a long time, and now we're on top, and it's where we want to stay. Now with the second round of World Qualifiers set for early next year, Team Bahamas will continue regular practice sessions as they look for a similar performance against what is expected to be a higher level of competition. Um, going into the second and third round, I think we need more, more gym time. Uh, we need more support from government. We need uh, more support for our people. Like, we need to get the word out there that um, we're doing something in the country and uh, we need everybody to back us. We just need the support. Once we get the support and we can get the gym time, we're going to do great. We're not the most prepared for this tournament, and I feel that um, we need to do more preparation because the teams that we'll be facing in the later tournaments are going to be a lot, a lot tougher and they're going to be a lot more prepared. So I think that's important for us to get the gym time. Hopefully with support of the country, the government, our people, our family, we would make it as far as possible. Just being focused and determined, um, staying together as a unit, playing off each other's strengths, we should be fine as a team. Now after winning the Best Blocker Award at the first round of qualifiers, Byron Ferguson heads straight back to Finland to continue with his pro career. However, our two other award winners, they both returned home. MVP Prince Wilson and Best Attacker Ronaldo Knowles spoke about what those individual honors meant to them. What I had to do for um, the team to win, um, I didn't think I had a great, great tournament, but I just played my part and fit in where I needed. I was actually limping around in the tournament and still came out with an award, which I didn't think was going to happen. So I just want to thank God for that and thank God for us winning.